volunteers in general are essential for the work that we do in serving the aging population. Um, because this population is growing, um, we need more volunteers to help advocate for more residents. Just in Contra Costa alone, we serve uh, roughly more than 10,000 residents. And that's changing. Um, residents are being discharged in and out of facilities. So we constantly are serving those residents as well. Um, but in general, ever since the pandemic, residents haven't really had much contact with um, anyone outside of facilities. So it's kind of us that go in to see them, um, volunteers who go in and meet with them as well. So building those relationships with the residents, with the staff members are very important. Um, and we also meet residents who don't have family members or friends who are local. So they actually don't get visitors. So we're probably their only visitor visiting with them. And over time, we start to build that rapport with residents um, and they start to trust us. So they tell us more about who they are, what their history was like, what they did in the past, um, what they enjoy doing now, um, and any concerns that they have about quality of life and quality of care. And with that trust, they want us to take that, um, try to resolve any concerns that they have with their care, their quality of life. And that's very important. I always enjoy going into these facilities and I hear from the residents and the staff members, you know, like, where did this volunteer go? And I'm like, you know, they're no longer with us. And they're like, oh, like, you know, like I've seen them for three years or, you know, we always talked about baseball. We always watch baseball together. So it's those little things that really were important um, and had an impact in our life.